Hello guys, Altus Tech here with another Photoshop Basics tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool effect, which is to add a watercolor effect to your images. Really, really easy to do. Uh, so basically I'm just going to go through it step by step and you guys can follow and add this effect to your images. So uh, first things first, we're going to create three copies of our layer uh, by holding Control J. It'll make three copies. Uh, we're going to hide the first two here and I'm going to select the first copy or layer one. I'm then going to go into filter, filter gallery, I'm going to select artistic and I'm going to select cutout. I'm going to leave the number of levels at four as well as edge of simplicity and I'm going to set the edge fidelity to two. Press OK. And then we're going to set the layer style to luminosity which is the bottom one down here. Go ahead and select that. OK and your image should look like this pretty uh, weird looking image at the moment but don't worry it'll look great when we're done. Next I'm going to make the second uh, copy visible and I'm also going to select it. I'm going to go back into filter, I'm going to go back into filter gallery and again I'm going to select artistic. I'm then going to go to dry brush and I'm going to make the brush size and brush detail 10 and leave the texture at 3. Go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to set the blend mode to screen which is right over here. Okay, just one more step, or a few more steps actually, but just one more layer to go. I'm going to make the last layer visible. Also select it. I'm going to go into filter once again. I'm going to go down to noise this time, and I'm going to select median. And I'm going to set that at 12 pixels. Just go ahead and press OK. And then I'm going to set the blend mode to soft light. Right up here I believe it is. Or maybe is it down here? Here we go. And there you have it guys. That is a pretty cool effect as you just saw. It makes a really cool uh, watercolor effect. Pretty convincing actually. So rather than spending hours and hours painting a painting, you can just take a quick picture and add the effect in Photoshop as you just saw. Make sure to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed what you just saw. Also check out my channel for more tutorials, reviews, and other tech-type videos. Thank you for watching as always, and stay tuned for more.